Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. There are tons of social networks, and we use them not only to connect with friends and family, but also to share and consume content. Lots and lots of content. All of those photos, likes, and comments are changing the way we think. This is Your Brain On, where we explore how the world affects our brains and ourselves. Humans have a deep-seated desire to share. When you disclose information about yourself, it strongly activates the part of the brain associated with dopamine. That's the pleasure center. No wonder 40% of our daily speech is about ourselves, a figure that jumps to 80% on social. That pleasurable effect is multiplied as people engage with what you posted. The dopamine hits keep coming with every notification, a like, a share, a comment, and you crave more. But when it comes to consuming the content others share, the effects on our brains aren't always so pleasurable. Scrolling through social feeds can temporarily reduce self-control, particularly when it comes to spending or eating, possibly because looking at pictures, like these tasty looking meals on Instagram, can trigger the reward centers in our brains. Social media can also make users more prone to peer pressure, especially teens. In one controlled study, researchers arbitrarily assigned likes to a set of digital photos. Teens tended to like photos that already had many likes as compared to photos with few likes. And when they saw photos of risky behavior, like drinking and smoking, neural activity decreased in their cognitive control network, which aids in decision making. But the newsfeed isn't all bad news for the brain. A study of depressed teens showed lots of positive use, such as using social media to reach out and create connection, or to look for entertaining, funny posts to boost moods. And in middle-aged to older adults, performing searches may stimulate and even improve brain function. The key to overcoming the bad aspects is keeping up robust relationships in real life. A long-term study showed the negative effects of Facebooking are equal or greater to the positive impact of real life experiences. So make sure you're friending, liking, and loving in your offline life too. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.